Now to another big story. A 14-year-old boy shot in the back as he was running from Tempe police. That teen, Antonio Arce, died from his wounds. And today, a big decision by the county attorney. The officer will not face any criminal charges. Team 12's William Pitts is here with how the county attorney arrived at that decision. Two investigations ramped up today, one by the city and one by the county. They determined that what Officer Hine did was against the rules, but it was not a crime. I do not believe the evidence in this case supports a likelihood of conviction at trial, and this office will not be filing criminal charges in this matter. The end of a year of investigation. Officer Joseph Hine will not be charged for shooting a 14-year-old in the back in a Tempe alley. Officer Hine did not see a 14-year-old boy with a replica. In that moment, he saw a suspect running through a neighborhood with a weapon. Officer Hine was called out to check out a car burglary in an alley in January of 2019. Antonio Arce, the burglary suspect, was inside a truck. Officer Hine said he thought Arce had a gun. Let me see your hands! As the teen ran, Hine fired. The gun in the teen's hand was an airsoft gun, not real. But the county attorney said the teen's finger was on the trigger, and Officer Hine didn't know the gun was fake. This situation, he was just simply running away, and he had done nothing, even if you take that statement to be true, okay, that indicated that Antonio was a threat to the officer or anybody else. Arce's family's lawyer talked just after the county attorney, saying their fight is not over. Oh, they're disappointed, and there's clearly nothing they can do about that decision. Uh, they will move forward uh, with their civil claims. We recognize this is a tragedy. A family lost a son and a profession lost a public servant. Tempe police released their own investigation, saying Officer Hine may not have broken the law, but he broke the department's rules. Tempe's internal investigation found that Officer Hine did not say he felt he was in danger and no threat to his safety existed. It also found he used poor decision making, poor tactics, and did not adhere to his training. Since the shooting, Hine quit the Tempe Police Department and received full retirement benefits. Joseph Hine's decision to resign was solely his, and he knows why he resigned. We do not. Arce's parents have filed a $5 million notice of claim against the city of Tempe and the now former officer. In Tempe, William Pitts, 12 News.